What if you found out that all of those things associated with God are actually true? The existence of God, of the soul, of heaven, hell, angels, and devils, the authenticity of the Gospels and resurrection of the Christ, that he established a church 2,000 years ago, the Catholic Church. Well, it turns out they're all true. All are real. Life is short and eternity is forever. Prepare wisely for it. Granted, you need evidence of these claims. You need to be convinced that God exists, that the Gospels are authentic and Jesus is divine, and that the Catholic Church is the church that he founded. Call it the trifecta. So let's get started. Science is actually proving religion. With the confirmation of the Big Bang, evidence is overwhelming that the universe had a beginning, just as was stated in the Bible. Astrophysicist Robert Jastrow Now we see how the astronomical evidence supports the biblical view of the origin of the world. The chain of events leading to man commenced suddenly and sharply at a definite moment in time, in a flash of light and energy. He continued, that there are what I or anyone would call supernatural forces at work is now, I think, a scientifically proven fact. Most extraordinary is the fine-tuning. The laws of physics that sprung from the Big Bang, for example, the force of gravity and electromagnetic force, had to be exquisitely exact for stars and planets to form and life to emerge. Those laws could have been any magnitude, but just happened to be the correct magnitude, in some cases down to the quintillionth, otherwise no life. The obvious conclusion is that there was a super-intellect, i.e. God, who orchestrated the Big Bang. There's strong evidence of God's handiwork in biology as well. Think of a factory and the complex automated processes used to mass-produce the products. But those human-engineered processes pale in comparison to the complex automation that goes on within organic life forms, such as the cell. The latter bear all the hallmarks of being designed by a super-intellect. The Gospels were written within decades of the crucifixion. Plenty of eyewitnesses were still alive who could attest to the accuracy of the Gospels and who would have exposed them as fabrications if the claims were untrue. And many independent non-Christian historical documents written by Roman, Jewish, and other historians from around that time period confirm many of the events in Jesus' life. The transformed lives of the apostles following Jesus' resurrection is strong circumstantial evidence of that event. They refused to change their testimony despite poverty, ridicule, beatings, imprisonment, torture, and for 11 of the 12 apostles, martyrdom. As J. Warner Wallace writes, People will die for their religious beliefs if they sincerely believe they are true, but won't die for their religious beliefs if they know their beliefs are false. Other powerful evidence are the messianic prophecies of the Old Testament. They foretell of a coming Messiah who would suffer and die for the sins of the world, be despised and rejected, be pierced for mankind's transgressions, and many other uncanny predictions of the life of Jesus. The early Christians worshipped in much the same way that Catholics do now. The Eucharist, Jesus and the bread and wine, was the center of worship, and like Catholics today, they considered the Eucharist Christ's real body and blood. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He nowhere indicates this was a figure of speech. He was talking literally, not figuratively. The Catholic Church consistently and faithfully embraces this teaching. The early Christians were willing to die because they believed the Eucharist is literally the body and blood of Jesus. The Catholic Church is to the Bible what the Supreme Court is to the Constitution. Imagine private interpretation of the U.S. Constitution with no court of final appeal to interpret, enforce, explain, and proclaim the truths therein. Confusion and disarray would prevail. That's why there are more than 35,000 denominations of Protestantism today. There needs to be a supreme authority to interpret and explain sacred scripture. That authority is the 2,000-year-old Catholic Church. 
These are just snippets of a crucially important matter. For more details on proof of God, proof of the Gospels, and proof the Catholic Church is the church that Jesus Christ founded, go to www7 70com The evidence is overwhelming that heaven and hell exist. You will live on in one place or the other. Don't set yourself up for a rude awakening when you leave this life. Investigate these claims for yourself. Your eternity depends on it. <laughs>